Hey guys, Officer Seward again. Uh, everybody's getting these robocalls right now about the IRS and stuff like that, uh, trying to get money from you. Uh, Captain Stevens actually just got one. Let's see if we can listen in on what she's got going on. S T E P H E N S. I'm sorry, could you repeat that again? S T E V E N S. And the first name? Ann. Yes. You're speaking with an officer, John Black, from Social Security Administration. I have your file in front of me now, just to make sure that I'm giving out all the confidential details to the right person. Can you verify me your home address? No, I will not. I'm sorry? No, I'm not going to give you my address. If you have my file on me, you should know what my address is. Miss Stevens, you need to understand one thing over here, that I'm trying to cooperate with you on the recorded line, and even you need to cooperate with me. Because I have your file in front of me, and there are several allegations under your name, and there is an arrest warrant on your name. Are you aware about it? Okay, well, what kind of allegations are against my name? Sorry. Before proceeding further, I would like to notify you that these lines have been recorded and monitored by four major federal agencies. Department of Treasury Justice, Internal Revenue Service, Legal Enforcement Agencies, and Department of Narcotics. So please make sure that you be specific and honest whatever you speak over this recorded call and any statement going against the respect of SSA or any federal department would lead this conversation to an end and you will be arrested in 45 minutes of time. One last thing, please do not interrupt me while I'm speaking. I will give you a fair enough chance to speak once I'm done. Is that clear? Okay. Okay. My name is Officer John Black. Okay. And my badge ID number is SSA one one zero six seven. Okay. All right. Now I will just verify your home address. So could you just tell me is it right or no? That is not correct. That is not correct? No, it is not. Then why do I have your this mailing address? Can you tell me? All right. So can you help me with this? Recent mailing address? My current address is 205 mm -hmm. Saunders, S-A-U-N-D-E-R-S -E Street. In Apex, North Carolina. What's the code? Two seven five zero two. Two seven five zero two, right? Yes. Sure. All right. Now, there are legal enforcement agencies involved in this case. So before we go ahead and give out the complete information to you, I need you to verify me with the last four digit number of your social security. 
so I can confirm that the details are given to the right person. I'm not going to confirm my social security number with you. Miss Stephens, I'm not asking you to confirm me your social security number. Well, I'm asking you just to verify me with the last four digits of your social security so I can confirm that the details are given to the right person. I'm not going to do that. Guys, never ever give your social security number, give your current, give your address or anything to these people. They're using that to use against you. And there are some serious allegations under your name. So if you think you're trying to place mine over this recorded call, you can please hang up the line. Okay, so a sheriff's deputy is going to come here and arrest me? Absolutely. For, for what? There's some serious allegations. What are they going to arrest me for? Allegations under your name. Okay, but and for the investigation report under your social security number, there are seven allegations found under your name. Social Security Administration and law enforcement agencies has found 25 fraudland bank accounts opened and used fraudulently using your social security number to commit a fraud of more than ten million dollars. This account were used to transfer and receive funds for illegal local and international bank wire transfer include like money laundering, drug trafficking and for internal revenue service tax scams all over USA. So like, I'm, I'm going to be charged I'm going to be charged with drug trafficking? Absolutely. Because there is someone who is using your social security number. Did you share your social security number with anyone? I, 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 I certainly didn't share it with a drug dealer. With whom did you share your social security? I don't share my social security number with anybody and I have a hard time believing a drug dealer supplies his social security number to somebody. Alright. Now, can you just tell me how many bank accounts do you own as per your knowledge and information? Well, I'm, I, I don't think it's appropriate for me to share that information with you. I'm going to provide all this information to my senior officer that they're trying to run from this situation. They are trying to cooperate over the recorded call. So what we are going to do is my officer will sign your arrest warrant and in the next 45 minutes, you will be guest arrested. Okay? So in 45 minutes, in 45 minutes, the sheriff's deputy is going to show up and arrest me for drug trafficking. Absolutely. But I didn't traffic any drugs. There are some proof under your name. We do have a proof under your name. Now, when you get arrested, you have to book an attorney for yourself who will charge you some thousand dollars maybe and after it, your attorney will see all the legal papers, paper documentation, why the arrest warrant was signed under your name and who was using your social security number and how many banks were there fraudulent accounts. Okay? So now, I just want you to answer yes or no. Do you want to try to cooperate with me and safeguard your cancer, your arrest warrant? Or you want to try to run from the situation? I'm not trying to run from the situation, but what do I have to do to cooperate? Because I don't believe I should supply you my personal information. Listen, I'm not asking you any personal information. What I'm going to do over here, I need to take yeah, all this information and provide to my senior officer so that you can speak to my senior officer and he will explain each and everything. Well, can, I, I, can I speak to them now? Yes, sure. But as I got instructions, I need to verify with the, all the details from you because there are 25 fraud and bank accounts which they are going to freeze all the 25. And if you have any bank accounts under your name, I need to give them the details. So can you just tell me how many bank accounts do you own as per your knowledge and information? I, I would like to just speak to your supervisor now, please. I need to verify all these details so that I can transfer your call to my senior officer. Can you, can you just transfer me to your senior officer and I'll verify my information with him? I'll just transfer your call to my senior officer so you can speak to him, okay? Just okay. Okay.
The sheriff's department's not coming to get me. I'm pretty sure of that. to the senior investigation officer. My name is Officer Jason Brown. How are we doing today? I'm, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much for your concern. Now, you are speaking to one of my junior officers regarding a case, correct? That's correct. And he told my officer that you want to speak to a senior officer, correct? That's correct. Okay, now go ahead and let me know how many bank accounts are originally owned by you, uh, which I, has nothing to do with the illegal activities. Well, if it has nothing to do with illegal activities, why do I have to give you my, tell you how many bank accounts I have? See, if, if you do not tell me how many bank accounts you have, we'll go ahead and suspend all the bank accounts which are connected to your social security. So don't blame us if you lose any money. We are trying to help you out over here, okay? Uh, well, I just don't understand how giving you my... I would like to know what the allegations are against me and what you're going to take out a warrant for. Right now, there are two criminal charges against you. Number one, drug trafficking. And number two, money laundering. Okay? Well, that, well that's better than the 25 the first guy told me were out against me. And they've hung up on me. I find it interesting that the first guy I talked to was John Black, and the second guy I talked to was Jason Brown. So, folks, these are scam calls. Don't ever give out your information. Don't ever verify information, even if they have it. That information can be found on the web about anywhere. So don't ever verify it. Don't give them personal information. Don't verify the last four of your social, your date of birth, bank account information, nothing like that. They're all scammers. Just hang up on them or have a little fun.